Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable three-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty recipes using everyday ingredients. Hey, so for dinner tonight, I wanted to use up some stuff in my freezer. So we are having this chicken fried rice from Trader Joe's, and then we are having some foster farms wings that I picked up from Costco, but you can actually buy them anywhere, and then some stir-fried broccoli. So here is the Trader Joe's fried rice. It has peas in it, but I always take the peas out of the fried rice, and um, I cook it according to package directions. I actually cook it on the stove top, but I cook it for a lot longer than it says so that it could kind of get fried and get rid of that extra water that's in there. And then the wings, um, I actually accidentally threw away the bag already, but this is what they look like, Foster Farms crispy wings with the buffalo sauce. And I didn't add the buffalo sauce. Instead, I added this Korean barbecue original sauce. Um, it's spicy. I usually use it to marinate my meat, but um, today I just used it as a sauce. And here it is on the wings. It is very, very tasty. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having green bean, bacon, and potato soup. I actually made this soup probably maybe about six months or so ago on our channel and it is very good. I will make sure to link that video in the description box so you guys can check out the recipe. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, Howard is going to be grilling some hamburgers for us. I had to run into Aldi yesterday to grab a couple of things and I found this meat on clearance. It is 85.15 ground beef and I got this two and a half pound package of ground beef on sale for um, $6.12 or something like that. It was 50% off. So I am going to season my ground beef with this onion mix. This is a really old recipe that's been around forever. You just season two pounds of ground beef with one package of onion mix and it makes delicious burgers. I found this little burger press at the Dollar Tree a while back ago, and then I found these little paper squares to separate my patties. So I'm gonna get them all patted out and put them in the refrigerator until Howard is ready to grill later on. Okay, so I got eight patties out of that package of ground beef. Now I'm just gonna cover these and put them in the fridge until later on today. Okay, so here are our burgers. This is Howard's plate, and he's got tomato, avocado, and then um, pepper jack cheese, and some fresh corn on the cob. And then this is my plate. I like a plain cheeseburger, unless I have bacon. Um, but Howard did grill my bun for me because I prefer mine grilled, his is not grilled. And then I've got corn on the cob too with butter, salt, and pepper. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having short ribs. Howard grilled them for us. I found them on sale a long time ago, and I used this marinade, and I put them in the freezer. And so whenever we want short ribs, all I have to do is take them out, thaw them out, and we have them available. So short ribs, I stir fried some fresh broccoli, and then I made some macaroni and cheese, Paw Patrol. I think my child is the only child in the world who doesn't like mac and cheese. So I was trying to entice him into trying this. So hopefully he will. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am making these cheese lasagna rolls that I picked up from Aldi probably last fall. So they were in my freezer and you get 12 rolls and they come in individual, <clears throat> excuse me, little trays of six. And I'm gonna be using some mozzarella cheese and some Parmesan cheese and some tomato sauce, uh, tomato basil sauce that I had in my pantry. So all I'm gonna do is just put a little bit of that pasta sauce in the bottom of a nine by 13 and then layer my, um, my um, 
lasagna rolls on top, and then add some more pasta sauce, mozzarella, and Parmesan, and then I'm gonna bake it uncovered in the oven at 350 degrees for about an hour. Okay, so here is dinner all plated up. We haven't tried it yet, but it smells and looks absolutely delish. Serving it with some green beans and a breadstick on the side. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time.